you everything physically mentally emotionally it was just draining and i never gave up we none of us really ever gave up even at the worst times there was some times that was uh really close there was a couple of things that i can remember that were really yeah um you know you don't know how strong you are until you get tested like that yep you should be called mama bear not mama bar <laughs> a lot of people do call me that <laughs> mama bear mama dukes mama bear i had like a uh, hundred children in that hospital they uh okay. They really supported me. That, those were, you know what? There were really some wonderful mo moments as well. Um, we we were there through Thanksgiving and Kevin's Kevin's family on his dad's side um, cooked us an entire dinner Aww. with all the trimmings. And uh, we had dinner there in the, in the, um, in the ICU mm. and there were people, my husband's a firefighter and, and he used to have to, we used to take shifts because that was before he retired. But um, we always had a shift and we were always somebody, there was always somebody there with Kevin. And um, he was a fighter. He's a strong, strong fighter. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that the book is amazing. His stepmother actually, she passed now, but mm -hmm. she told him that he was gonna be helping people for the rest of his life. She, yep. she When she first said it, I thought that, you know, I kind of questioned that. I, I, you know, you, uh, I was like, listen, I just want him to live. And she was like, he's not only going to live, he's going to live and he's going to help people. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, at that time, it's very hard to picture that. Um, yeah. What are we doing right now? All right, Kevin, you know what? I'll, I think I can just go ahead and share to your group. Okay, great. If you're, if you're having any issue with that. No, I just don't see it on, I don't see it on your page. All right, let's see. My, my page. Oh, there it is, I got it. Beautiful. You got it? Yeah. Okay. My technology's tough. <laughs> technology, do you like technology? Technology. I love technology. That's what I name my dog. <laughs> yeah. so, this is, actually, this is actually my second Zoom, but I did a Zoom with my HOA in Arizona, and it was a little different than this. Well, we're going live. We're not only just on Zoom. We're taking this live across the entire Facebook. It's live on the Adam Connects community. It's live in Kevin's community, and we're all set to go. You guys ready? Yes. All right. Um, give a little countdown in four, three. Good morning, everybody. Adam Bricker here from Adam Connects. I am so happy, honored, and thrilled to be able to introduce you to you today, Kevin Parker. What an incredible story. You're going to hear about how Kevin overcame incredible odds, defied death, made his mom smile from ear to ear. And you're going to get to meet her today. You're going to meet some people from behind the scenes. But before we introduce anybody else, the man of the hour or the hour and a half, depending on how long we go here, Mr. Kevin Parker. Hey, Adam, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. I'm super excited to launch this book and sign a bunch of books and really connect with the audience. Uh, I think everybody should read this, whether you're an underdog struggling with somebody uh, or addiction or really anything. There's something in this book for everybody. I'm really excited to share it with the world. Oh, I'm super, super pumped to get into your story as well. You got some special guests, some some people who are going to say hi real quick. I, I I understand we have your mom on with us. Yes, the mother that started it all. <laughs> My best I, friend, best woman that I know. I'm really excited to have her on the show. <laughs> hi, mom. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm Kevin's mom, Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, let's see. I have these controls working really smooth. Natalie, Natalie's with us. Uh, Natalie, go ahead and, and say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. I am uh, Natalie McQueen with GMC Publishing, and I've had the honor to work with Kevin through this publishing journey. Thank you. Out outstanding, outstanding. And then let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to do this right over here. 
We have Orly. Orly, go ahead and say hi to everyone. Hello, everyone. My name is Orly Amor. I am the founder and CEO of the Global Mentoring, Coaching, and Publishing Center. And uh, I have had the pleasure and honor of working with Kevin um, from his beginning as a speaker and his business um, all through his speaking. So everything is, uh, Kevin is an amazing human being, and we are very thankful and grateful for him to be a miracle with us. Thank you. Outstanding. All right. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go ahead and invite the audience par to participate. We're going to ask mom and, and Natalie to step off stage for a little bit. We'll talk to you guys really soon. Okay. Good. All right. Now we're going to get down to um, a little bit of business. If you guys want to participate, uh, it, it's, it's a bit interactive over here. You can come in through uh, Facebook, through um, uh, Kevin's portal, uh, through my portal, or you can text winning, that's one word winning, to 855-476-4845 and get connected. You have an opportunity to purchase Kevin's book, have it autographed by, by Kevin himself and uh, participate. We'll have some of his friends, fans, and family coming on and joining us today. But until then, uh, it's going to be Kevin, Orley, and I talking about the, what made this book happen, uh, how it got launched, and um, why it's so important to get it into the hands of everybody else. Kevin, I'd love to have you. Um, yes, so uh, your story. I'm really, really excited. Uh, throughout my life, I've dealt with a lot of different traumas and addiction, and it was very difficult to climb out of that. I realized that everybody struggles with something. Everybody has something that's holding them back. And I wrote this book to give people inspiration and motivation to overcome anything that they're dealing with. That's why we named it Winning Against All Odds, Discovering the True Warrior Within. See, myself, I struggled with addiction, but it's something for everyone. It ended me up in a coma for three weeks. I had to fight for my life every single second. Uh, I was in the hospital for about four months. I got out, but not before losing my leg. When I got out of the hospital, I was completely broken, physically, mentally, and emotionally, and I did not know what I was going to do. But I decided to use it as rocket fuel to ignite a passion in me like I've never seen before. Help people overcome addiction and challenges that they're dealing with every single day. I decided to become the best person I could be, study and grow in each and every single way, and dedicate my life to sharing my message, to inspiring people, to help people win against all odds. I became a speaker, a coach, a trainer. I teach people to do what I do, and now a best-selling author. My life has changed immensely, and I don't regret a second of it because it, became, it brought me to where I am today. And I'm just really, really excited that I can share my message of overcoming and defying the odds with everybody, and hopefully, I can help you in any way that I can. And Kevin, um, how would somebody expect to be helped by you? Is it by reading your book? Is it by engaging with you personally? What, what do you offer them so that you can help them? Well, there's, there's different levels to how I can help. I mean, every, every aspect of my life is about helping others. Uh, you can either be inspired by my book, which I'd love for you to read it, um, I do public speaking. I try to speak at many events, really share it with the community and uh, spread my message. I do one-on-one -on -one recovery coaching and life coaching to help people deal with anything they have. I just put out a recovery coaching product uh, that you can buy and work through through your entire life. You'll own it. Uh, I'm putting out a life coaching class and all of these different things. I actually help people and I teach them how to do what I do. I have a life coaching class I have a recovery coaching class and every aspect of my life is really just trying to lead by example and help people overcome what they're dealing with. So any kind of interaction with me, I hope I just add value to your life and I leave an impression that lasts forever. Well, you know, the people who they're not, they're not just hearing you now, they can feel you. Your emotion exudes through the screen. And, and whether, you, whether you choose to just read the book or, or engage with Kevin at, at a higher or deeper level, 
uh, you, you're going to get that passion, that enthusiasm, because uh, if I if I got the message correctly, Kevin, it's all about having a second chance. Yeah, see, everybody makes mistakes in their life. Nobody's perfect. And the worst thing you could do is give up or use it as an excuse to not try anymore. But I can tell you, no matter what you go through, you're either winning or you're learning. Use it as a life lesson. Use it as a building block to create yourself bigger, better, stronger. Plug into something that you'll learn and you'll grow from it. Because anything you do can be a positive experience. It's just the way that you perceive it. And that's what I'm trying to show people that no matter how deep and dark the situation you're in right now, I wanna let you know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and there's something in this moment to learn from and grow. Outstanding, outstanding. Now I know somebody who heard your story um, is on the screen with us, this is Orly Amor. Orly, what did you hear about Kevin's story that made you want to be involved in this in this project with him? Well, um, besides him being a special person, um, it's not about just being special. You know, what I mean, like we are all special in our own way. And I always say we all have a story. And, and yes, it's true. We all have a story. And when you hear his story and you hear the first story, because there's many stories in that book. And every time you hear a story, you're wondering, okay, well, you can't beat that. And then there's another story and he overcomes one after the other, the things that we will not even think about doing with his, uh, with his disability, whatever he's done and overcome is something that we probably are all thinking, I would never do that. And every time I would read it or listen to his story, I would say, I would never do that. Literally, it's what I went through um, with Kevin, but I know his passion for people and his passion is so big that there is no way he's not gonna succeed in, 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 in inviting people in. Uh, that's what I got from it. And that's why we decided to work with him because his passion is, is not only about him, it's, about, it's bigger than him. And he understood that from the get-go. Outstanding, outstanding. And, and can you let everybody know what you did for him and, and, and the role you play in the, in the process? Well, I met, I met Kevin through my Business of Public Speaking coaching program. And, um, and I tend to mention that we have a publishing house. And he said, you know what, when I'm ready, I'll let you know. And I thought he forgot about it because I really don't promote it. I just mention it. It's like, by the way, <laughs> and uh, when he was ready, uh, he said, you know what? I want to keep it in the family. I love what I went through in my coaching with you and how you care and how you care about each and every one of your students that I know that I was going to be in good hands. And, but at the end of the day was a, a multiple conversations. Are you sure, you know, do you really want to do this? Do you want to take on the responsibility? You know, it's a lifelong responsibility. And uh, I asked him the same question that my mentor asked me, are you sure? When I first started speaking, I was asked, are you sure you want to do this? It is a lifelong commitment. And so I did the same with Kevin. And I think that that is what also excites me about this coming to fruition, seeing his success, seeing him here on a virtual book tour with one of my good friends on top of it all, like, oh my gosh, full circle. Uh, Adam and I know each other for years and we lost touch for many years. And it's like, what a full circle. I'm getting teary eyed because of it. Like, wow. <laughs> and so... Um, you know what? I'm loving this industry more and more every single day and how beautiful all these people coming together. It's really like the meeting of the minds. <laughs> so uh, thank you. You know, I'm so honored to have you here. And, and, you know, my story is way, way different than Kevin's, except we both had a second chance. And that really resonates with me. There's a lot of people whose lives I'm touching and, and making better and more prosperous and, and more fulfilled in, in my second chance and, and to embrace that methodology and what Kevin's doing. I'm, I'm honored to be a part of this. Totally. Cool. Kevin, now we're going to 
we're gonna um, uh, in a minute bring your mom back on. Mm. So I just wanted to give a, a, a chance or a shout out to uh, to Orly. If there's anything you'd like to say, I know you're a super busy person, and and I'm so honored that you popped on with us. Anything else? Um, I know they sent over some statistics um, uh, about Kevin's rankings on the books. I wanted to make sure that we took care of that part of business because yeah. when, when you put something out, do you know how many books go out on the market today that just aren't read, aren't seen, aren't published? Um, we put this up on the screen. I don't know if you're familiar with this slide or not, but can you share with us what it is and, and, and let people know the kind of imp impact that uh, Kevin's having around the globe? Well, um, you know, being an Amazon bestseller is almost like a trick these days. And we and I have committed myself to doing it the right way, authentically and in integrity. And so we are very honored to have gotten him to number one on Amazon. But getting to number one internationally is not so easy. And so uh, to have gotten him in three countries, of course the United States, but in Australia and Canada to be number one is just beautiful. We are so proud of you, Kevin, because uh, it's not a small endeavor. And our company is very proud to do that with authors. Uh, and so I'm sure that Natalie will be able to also explain how we do it and why we do it. But you are in total in three countries. You're at ranking 29 times as number one. And, uh, and that is a as a new release and as a bestseller. So congratulations on all your successes, Kevin. I know I have to go, but I love you. And I love you, Adam, for doing all that you do for everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I love you too, Orly. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done without you and your team. Oh, really do thank you, guys. Take love care. you, Orly. My honor and privilege to have you here. Thank you so much, love. Bye-bye. Bye now. How nice was that? Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on with Kevin Parker, and uh, the book's called Winning Against All Odds. Uh, Kevin's Second Chance is a remarkable story, and it doesn't stop with him. It's the opportunity for him to give back. If you'd like to connect with Kevin, uh, you text winning to 855-476-4845. The number's on the screen. The text, the link is down below. It's easy to access. And um uh, Kevin, anything that somebody should know about being in the presence of you, being connected to you? Really, I'm just honored and blessed to be able to work with people. I really love connecting with people on a deeper level, and I truly believe God saved my life to help people with the things that they're struggling with. So it's not about business. It's not about making money. I don't care about the money. I live comfortable. I really just want to help people. I want to reach a million people. That's my goal. I want to impact 1 million people on this planet and change their lives. And there's nothing more rewarding than pouring into somebody and seeing them have that aha moment and know that their life has shifted forever. And that's what my life is about. Uh, I hold the most value in contributing to people and growing with them. And I'd love to connect with you. I'd love to help you. And I'd love to direct you in the direction that you're doing and try to create the life that you love to live. Thank you, Kevin. We hear it, we feel it. I'm so honored to be connected with you, honored to be a part in, in your journey. And if your goal is to meet, reach a million people, I wanna help you on that goal so much. And, and that's why we have this forum out here. If you're watching live, connect below, tell Kevin you hear him, tell him you feel him. If you feel like sharing his message, share it on your social media. And if you're in the recording, do the same thing anyhow, because modern technology allows us the, um, the, the abilities to connect live or on a recorded basis. So uh, let's go ahead and bring in the woman who started it all. We, that, that's your mom. Uh, we have her named as Ma Mama Barb. And uh, mom, are you here with us? Mama Bear. You got to unmute yourself, Mama. I'm good. Yes, fantastic. Um, You're the best. Yep. <laughs> so what are we talking about, Kevin? We're talking about Kevin. That's got to be one of your favorite subjects, right? It totally is. It really is. Um, I can never say enough about the things that Kevin has accomplished. Um, this book 
being um, just his latest, uh, you know, hurdle to get past and get out there. Um, he is an amazing son. I'm very lucky to still have him. There was a time that I did not think I was going to have him being my only son. Uh, we went through some uh, pretty ter terrible times just to come out on this uh, miracle side of the uh, whole experience. Kevin has always been a very special, uh, very, he's sensitive, he's uh, considerate of other people's feelings. Um, when this whole addiction thing came up, it was very hard for me at first to even believe it. First of all, to believe it, because I, if there's one thing that I wanna say to everybody who's listening, if you feel something's going on, if something's wrong, whether it be mental illness or addiction or even to depression during these times, it's very, very rampant now. Um, if you feel like it's happening, it is. Don't make excuses. Don't question yourself. Question whoever it is that is suffering and find out what's going on with them because you know, not all stories end up uh, successful like Kevin's. Kevin, Kevin is a... Uh, like I said before, a miracle. He He's a miracle. And to have him in our lives, everybody's lives right now is just, to me, it's sometimes, you know, sometimes I have to pinch myself to know that he's with us because those four months, we really didn't think Kevin would be here. So the book is, uh, it's amazing. Oh boy. Oh boy. There you go, mama. <laughs> my, my, my battery's low. I got to plug in. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the book is just uh, amazing. And people who have not only addictions, uh, people who feel like they just want to give up, they should read this book. This book is a, uh, it's for everyone. It, there's something for everyone. Um, moms, I really recommend it because I am a mom and that's where this whole thing comes from the in my mom. chapter. Well, <laughs> I think so and you think so. So that's all we need is you. <laughs> yes. um, my chapter is about moms and um, I can't stress enough, Kevin, you know, I tell everyone, I can't stress enough that um, denial is a terrible thing. And it just does, it, it makes excuses in your mind and you think that there's a reason, a different reason. Um, really, you need to communicate with your children, especially now. Uh, Zoom is nice, uh, the, the FaceTime is nice, but you need to physically go and see your children, especially, you know, whether you have to mask up or whatever, the, whatever, the, whatever it may be, you need that human connection. And again, don't be in denial. And like I said, it's not just addiction, it's depression, it's anxiety, it's overdoing medication. It's, uh, it's a whole slew of things. And um, again, I'm, I think that everybody could use the, the advice in this book and the strength that you showed, Kevin, because I do remember, <laughs> I do remember the first time. Oh, here we go again. I really got to plug my phone in though. <laughs> keeps going out on me hold on all right mom you go ahead and, and plug your phone in we're going we're gonna <laughs> to go sorry. ahead and shift you in the waiting room and we're going to bring you back out when it's um uh when you're a little more charged all right okay i'm charged i'm good i'm plugged in but you can you're go you can put me in the waiting yeah i'm good I'm, I'm good i'm good i'm sorry hold on what happened there you are okay i'm back hey, before you get up, before you get up before you go, I yeah. want to make sure that everybody knows, because a lot of what you're saying today is joyous and happy, and, and I want I want to find out what how difficult it was for those four months. Um, it was the most. I've suffered many losses in my life. I've suffered many tragedies before. This was the most horrifying experience, if you want to say. There was a. There was a point in the hospital where um, I worked with senior citizens and I would have to watch them as they passed. Unfortunately, that was part of the job. And um, you, you get a look when you're dying. And I hate to use that word, but there's no other word for it. When you're dying, you get a look, you get a look on your face and you, you kind of pull back. And there was a time 
when Kevin was having a very, very harsh um, dialysis and Kevin looked at me and he, I can't even say it without getting emotional. Um, the nurses knew that I could not break down in front of him. So they would come get me, literally watch my face. But he asked me, he said, um, mama, am I gonna die? <laughs> and at that point, honestly, Adam, I wasn't sure. I, I said to him, of course not. You're gonna be fine, Kevin. You're just gonna be fine. And I smiled, but my knees went out because I really did not believe that at that moment. The nurses came and they um, kind of hurried me away from him and put me into, believe it or not, a supply closet so that he would not see me looking like that because I had to always um, be positive and tell him everything was gonna be fine. You know, you're gonna be fine, don't even say that. But the look on his face had the look of the gray pallor. Um, his teeth were, he was so thin that his teeth were back and his lips were back over his teeth. He was so thin, he, he lost, he had to have lost a hundred pounds. So um, that was the devastating hard part of it. And um, unfortunately this is going on everywhere. This is, this is not um, uh, an isolated incident because I don't know if uh, some part in the book where Kevin's friend, after Kevin got out of the hospital with one leg missing after this um, whole old ordeal, his friend, his friend died of an overdose. And this kid, his friend, um, was prom king in high school. This kid spent so much time at our house. And if I could stress upon anyone out there, um, you don't, you don't really see it happening. And once you do see it, it's, it's usually could be too late. So um, the hardest part was probably um, keeping positive when you really, um, you know, the doctors used to think that I was a little bit, <laughs> I was a little bit delusional. You know, they, they wanted me to um, make arrangements for organ donation and, uh, you don't know uh, fear and sadness until you've had a doctor look at you and say, um, I think mom, that it's about time that you and your husband get together and um, think about organ donation. So um, there was, that was one of the hardest times. And, and um, I just couldn't believe it got to that. I, I, I don't know. I used to ask myself, Adam, I used to ask myself, how did I get here? How did I get here? I had a perfect son. He played baseball. He played football. He was popular and handsome and charming. He was so charming. In fact, he was so sweet. He would give you cavities, this kid. And, um, he was just, and then he had his own apartment and then he was working in the union. He was making great money. Um, I was so proud of him. He had so many friends, but he didn't have the right friends. And I wasn't, I was, I guess I was in denial because there came a time, and this is very hard for me to say, there came a time when he would call me and I would go, oh, it's Kevin. And I used to really, really feel guilty about that because he was all over the place. He was manic and, and you know, one, he always wanted me to drive him somewhere. Mom, you got to give me a ride here. My car's breaking down. His, all these chaotic things fit together. They just do. When you start seeing chaos in somebody that you usually wouldn't, find out what's wrong find out the truth whether it hurts or not because it could end up with loss that's about so that's it some that's some incredible advice mom if, if you moms are out there and you see somebody acting in a way they usually don't find out what's wrong find out what's yes. wrong if you want the best advice for this read read the book Absolutely. read winning against all odds mom mom 
wrote a chapter, we get incredible experiences from life. Kevin said it earlier, you're either winning or you're getting a lesson. Okay. Mom did both. Mom won and she got a lesson. And, and, And my understanding is that you are in the chapter that you wrote. You're absolutely sharing this lesson with other moms so they don't have to go through the same thing or they can really prevent themselves from going through the same thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Read my chapter. Um, I hope that I've um, verbalized it to a point where it, I hope this sounds terrible. I hope it hurts. I hope it makes you emotional because you can't, unless you can feel that emotion. I mean, I'm very lucky. I'm very blessed every day to have my son alive. And like I said, I sat with the mother of my son's best friends in the funeral parlor. And because I had been through so much, I said to her mistakenly, I, she was bury, burying her 25 year old son. And I mistakenly said to her, I know how you feel. Mm. And she looked at me and she said, no, no, you don't, Barbara, you don't. And I knew what she meant, but I did not know how she felt because I still had my boy. So it took that awful, awful lesson. I mean, it, all of us will tell you, we, we all aged in that hospital. And, you know, I still see some of those people from that hospital and they rush up to see me and they call me mom because I knew everybody in that hospital. They, they gave us like blankets and pillows and chairs. And we really, um, we really went through a, a very, uh, close uh encounter with death and it was every day i mean we the the doctor the doctor used to make me go inside i used to go inside and um i have a great whistle i can whistle and i can whistle really really loud so every morning at like 7 a.m they would put me in his unit and close the glass doors and tell me to rip one and i would rip out a whistle and I don't know if he heard me, but we did it every day. We, I whistled every morning. They would come and get me. Come on, mama, it's time to go whistle. And, um, you know, there was some experiences that were really, like, I'll never forget the, um, the humanity of healthcare workers and doctors and just even, <laughs> even the janitorial staff was really good with us. Um, it, it was, it was an experience, Adam, and I, I, I can't, I can't tell you enough how important it is for moms. I, I'm a mom and I, I can't tell you how important it is for moms to listen and to, you know, stay in touch with your kids. And, and even when they get older, see, I thought, I thought that by the time he was 24, 25 years old, that he was on his own and he was successful and everything was fine. You have to keep in touch with them. You have to keep in touch with the people you love and find out what's going on really not just what they tell you, because they lie. People lie about everything. They, they, they lie, lie about depression. They lie about anxiety. They're afraid to tell you. Open up that conversation with them. Thank you, Mom. Hey, Mom, Mama Barb, you, have, you are a whirlwind of information. You are pure love, and I want to thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you. Everybody thank you for having good. me. So, Mama? Yes. I can't see you, yeah. I just signed you a book. You yeah. did? Hold it, right, hold it right in front of you. Right in front right, of you. There, there you it go. is. My book? You signed my book? Yes. And I signed oh, yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Where are you, Kev? Yeah, I love you, Mama. I love you, too. Am I going off? You are pretty. You are going off. You're going <laughs> off with love. I wish yes, I was coming over to... Uh, to, to be a part of it. But thank you so much for sharing, not just because you're a mom, but because you care about other moms. I really care about other children as well. Really keep in touch with your kids. That's the most important thing. Don't be in denial. Thank you so much, Mama. Bob. All right. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Bye-bye now. Bye. Uh, she's amazing. Thank she's you. A very lucky man. Thank you very much. I am truly blessed. I love my mother with all my heart. She's my she's my rock. She's my everything. 
So you had me you crying. Had me, <laughs> yeah, you had me torn right there. I'm, I'm between do I be a do I be a broadcast professional or do I be you know totally into the story of of your mom? And the truth is, if you guys want more, get the book. Because she has a whole chapter. That's, hey, listen, that's Kevin. I I see you have the background off. Go ahead, and hold the book up and show them how you um how you signed it. So this is the book. Sign it right there. Nice, nice. So Kevin's getting more and more and more and more famous every day. And if you want to be a part of that fame and um. Be one of those people who talks about how there was a, uh, they had a second chance. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to bring some other people in. Uh, we're going to speed up a little bit because we gave Mama Barb a little bit of extra time. We have Kelly who's going to be joining us. Um, let's see, I pushed a button and there she is. Kelly! Hi, Kelly. You got to unmute yourself, Kelly. I'm usually never muted. What the heck? Hi. <laughs> hey, how are you? Pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. I really do. Absolutely. Go. I'm excited, excited to see your for face. you. Yes. This is awesome. Hey, yeah. Super excited. So hey, what do guys, I need to do? You guys are personal. Have a conversation. Go for it. Yeah, so me and Kelly uh, met through, uh, through trainings and uh, similar coaching backgrounds. Uh, and I just, I just have the utmost respect for Kelly. I think she has the hugest heart. Uh, the impact that she's going to make in this world is just astronomical. I, like I said, I have so much respect for her. And, and when I, when I did this book tour, I, I, I was like, I want, I got to, I got to sign her up to send her a signed copy because she deserves it. Uh, I know addiction impacted her life. And I know that we had a great connection and uh, I'm just really, really excited to have her there. So thank you so much, Kelly, for being here. I really do appreciate the support. I wish I was there to hug you right now. I want to hug I'd you. I'd love a hug. <laughs> I love you. You have uh, you have touched my life more so, I think, than you, me, you. Because I look at you and I think of my son. And I look at, you know, he's still struggling. And, you know, today's a good day. And he's in a good place in a sober house. But I, I've listened to your stories. And I've talked and vented to you. And you give me hope. You give me faith that, um, you know, we, we, we both know we don't have control of everything. Um, we do have a higher power. And I, you know, I look at my son and I, I want him to be able to walk in those steps as you did and grow and be the man I know he's capable of being. So I, I can't tell you how much I love and appreciate you in my life. Thank you so much. That's very sweet. I really do appreciate you okay so what do we do this is kind of different i've never done this i'm kind of excited well this is my first book as well uh, i'm really i'm actually going to be signing your book i'm going to say a sweet little message and uh, i really just wanted to uh step on here and um see how i've impacted your life and how and how um how the story may inspire you and how excited you are to read the book and all of those different things yeah, I can tell you, I mean, obviously I haven't got my hands on it, but knowing you and knowing, you know, parts of your story and me being a counselor, I, I think this book would be so beneficial to high schoolers, like high school kids who are thinking or, you know, playing around or just, you know, partying a little too much. But for even the kids who haven't gotten to that step yet, but maybe will be eventually, to be able to give this as a life skills class curriculum, like I think that would be such an eye opener for high school kids, probably not middle school, because I think it could scare a few, but high school, absolutely, I think that would be such a beautiful, beautiful even a course for them to, to see, like you, you look at what it can do and look at how you can, you know, endeavor all of the triumphs in your life and all the negative things in your life and come out on the other side, still smoking. Oh, thank you. I'm really excited for you to read the book. I mean, it's going to go above and beyond what your expectations are. And you just nailed it on the head. I mean, I want to inspire the young kids to show them to not give up. 
not not surrender and know that no matter what they're dealing with, there's a way out. There's a way to transmute that into strength, into passion, into a into a mission, into a purpose, turning their mess into their message. I mean, that's what I'm about. I want to show people that you can defy the odds. You can overcome absolutely anything and win against all odds. It really is. I mean, I at one point in my life, I thought that I was a loser. I was a bum. And the, all the worst things in the world happened to me. But when I switched, switched my perception, when I changed my identity and became a one-legged warrior, life became amazing. And I became unstoppable. And every single person has that inside them. That's why the subtitle is discovering the true warrior within. Because when you read this book, you're going to see the special gems inside of you that make you a warrior. I love it. I love it. You are, um, and I think you're so, so gifted on that mindset of, I mean, you and I both are all about your thoughts control everything. And that if you don't have the right mindset, it, it will jack you up. So I, I, I really believe, I mean, I just, was on a podcast yesterday and I'm um, talking to someone up in Northern California and just in their community in the last two weeks, they've lost five kids to fentanyl and I, and their kids, they were all high school kids. And it just, when you hear these stories, you just, it's like, we need to educate the youth. It is so, so important. So, you know what? I keep, keep screaming on the highest mountain of what you have and what you have to offer. Cause you will, you will awaken a lot, a lot of our youth that needs to hear this. I'm Amen. so sick and proud of you, man. <laughs> you know, so, um, Kelly, you, you've triggered something that Kevin in me that Kevin might not, not know about. So Kevin, I, I run a group of uh, charities I run a group of missions. It's called Feed the Children. And in my case, FEED stands for Food, Education, Empowerment, and Direction. And Love based it. on what your mom said, but even more impactfully what Kelly said, um, I'd like to invite you to be a part of the Feed the Children program as well. And it'd be my honor to put you in the promotion with uh, Eat Well, Be Well, How to Raise uh, Future Leaders, um, uh, Teenage Education. And I don't stop at teenagers because we handle children of all ages. Right. We're all children at heart. I'm right. absolutely honored that you said that. Like I said, I want to impact a million people and really just help in any way I can. So I'm absolutely honored that you said that. And I think that's a fantastic program. I'm so for it. It aligns with everything that I'm about. And uh, I'm truly blessed to have met you, madam. I'm really, really glad that we became friends and, and you've helped me with this. And, you know, God bless you. You know, and if Kelly was there giving you a hug, I'd give her a hug too. Uh, and I'll give you one too. I'm all about the hugging. Let's I'm do a this. hugger. Hug life. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, th thanks so much for being a part of Absolutely. this. So Absolutely. I have your book right here, Kelly. I'm going to read you what I wrote to you. Okay, I'm ready. Kelly, to the woman with the biggest heart, you're an angel. I wish you all the success in the world. You're going to make a huge impact. You've made one on me. Kelly. I love you, baby. Mm. I'm ready. Bring it. Bring it. Why don't you? Why don't you fly it out to California? I'm going to be in California in September in San Diego. So. Okay, buddy, that's where I live. So. Oh, so then I'm going to have to stay, uh, extend yep, you my can stay. stay here. Look oh, it. that's that would be remember, amazing. Remember, I can hook you up. I live oh, by Oh, that's fantastic because I have to see my friend Brendan, my old mentor. I'll see you. We'll make it a whole trip. I might never leave. <laughs> you might not. I, it's three stories, but uh, you know what? It'll give you some exercise. Here you Excellent. go. It sounds fantastic. Thank you so much, Kelly. I really do appreciate it. Absolutely. And uh, have a wonderful day. Me. Thank you. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye, Bye Kelly. Bye. You, you are surrounded by so much love. I'm truly blessed. <laughs> so happy, happy to know you. Um, we're not going to spend much time, just you and I. Uh, we're going to reach out to Stephanie. It looks like Stephanie's uh, in the green room. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Stephanie. Hi there. Go ahead and unmute your phone and say hi to Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Oh, I am fantastic. I'm so glad that you're here with me. 
Uh, I just want to introduce Stephanie. Stephanie is, I believe, an angel that God sent me when I was on the beach in Florida. Uh, I've seen her sitting on the beach, just enjoying the weather. And something told me to sit next to this amazing woman. And we had a conversation for hours on the beach. And I just totally connected with her on a spiritual way. And she's been my friend ever since. She's been there for me every step of the way. She's one of the sweetest, most loving people I've ever met in my whole life. And I'm really, really so glad that uh, our paths crossed. So uh, she was one of the first people to read my book. And I, I really just respect her. And, and I, I wanted her to be a part of this because I wanted to send her a signed copy she was asking me for it so i said i certainly will but you got to be on my virtual tour and i'm just really excited that you're here thank you so much stephanie it's a pleasure well thank you so much kevin for that introduction um i'm very honored to be here actually it's um it's a pleasure to to be part of this it's it was kind of surreal you sitting there on the beach it was um, one of those days where I was kind of down and, and decided to go to the beach and take my lunch and I didn't even have my swimming suit on and it was like, why am I even here? And then, uh, and then Kevin happened. And so I knew that it was a, a moment that I would never, ever be the same because when I read your book, it uh, actually there on the beach, you, you made a huge difference in my life. I was dealing with some addiction myself and it wasn't drugs, it was actually food. And um, since then, I've lost 40 pounds since I met Kevin. So, <laughs> hey, <you know. laughs> that's a win. You can't, you can't uh, deny that he isn't a huge part of, of my process here. And I, uh, I greatly appreciate his candor and, and his attitude in all of this. It's just, it's exhilarating to watch him go through this, watch you go through this. I guess I'm talking to your audience, but, but watch you go through this. You, um, you were already on your journey to, to healing and, and, you know, helping others. So it was very, very good to be able to talk to you that day. And, and I think it's been a, like March or something. It hasn't been all that long ago. So yeah. it was a good, good meeting. So. Yeah. I was really, really happy that I met you and I'm so yeah. glad that you're still in my life. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. Well, um, I don't know. I don't know if I can say this or not, but you're you're actually helping me through some things now. I've hired you as a coach, so um, you made a huge difference in my life and are continuing to do that. And I I appreciate that. And and it's always good to be able to hear um, your perspective. I when I read the book, it gave me such a different perspective on on addictions. And uh, I didn't know I was dealing with it that deeply, but, but you just don't get over things. You, you, it's a process. And um, so the process sometimes has to have other people helping. And, and that's where you come in for a lot of different people. And I've seen, obviously um, you're doing it with other people too, but I've felt that in my own personal life as well. So um, yeah. I have my own ministry and dealing with my own things. So, you know, we all have, we all have moments in our life that, that God brings people in. And um, you have definitely been one of those people that has made a huge difference in my life. Thank you so much, uh, Stephanie. You can say absolutely anything you want on my <laughs> virtual book tour, as long oh. as it's from the heart. Uh, and thanks for that plug, how you uh, dropped in that I'm a good coach. I really do appreciate that was not scripted. Uh, thank you so much for that. Hey. Uh, I really am so grateful that I was able to help you and, and impact you and change your perception and strengthen you and empower you. Uh, I really do appreciate all the feedback that you've given me on my book. Uh, and I just think you have an amazing heart. And, and people like you are the reason why I read this. I wrote this book. To give you okay. that hope, to give you that uh, experience, to show you that you really are an amazing person. And there's something beautiful and amazing about each and every single person and people do struggle, but it's okay. It's okay to ask for help. It doesn't make mm -hmm. you weak. Everybody needs it. I was sitting here crying on this uh, virtual tour when my mom was talking about me dying. You know, uh, being vulnerable and, and asking for help and, is, not, is not a place of weakness. It's a place of strength. And you are incredibly strong, Stephanie. That's why I'm so blessed that I met you. And I'm glad I was able to hear to help you unlock that warrior within you because you have incredible things to offer this world, incredible things to offer people. And that's why I wrote this book is to really show people what they're capable of, what's inside them.
to have that self-reflection of looking in the mirror and really knowing who you are and what you're made of. And, <laughs> and I'm so blessed that I've been able to impact so many people with my book, with my coaching, with my speaking. Uh, I'm just, I'm really, I'm just so blessed. So thank you. Well, it's, it's back at you, buddy, because this has been an amazing few months for me. So um, one of the things that really caught my attention in your book was page after page after page after page reading in the beginning of, you know, just why doesn't he, why doesn't he turn? Why doesn't he look a different way? Why doesn't he, you know, I saw outs where you didn't see outs and, and someone who's addicted can't see those. And so sometimes it takes something like losing your leg or losing a family or losing, you know, something big in your life that, um, that gives you that sense of, okay, what do I do now? And you have to climb back out of that hole. And um, so watching that in your life in the book was like an eye opener, for, eye opener for me because I was able to, um, I was kind of able to put that into my own life and go, oh, those were moments that I wasn't listening, that I wasn't hearing, that I wasn't seeing those little marks of, I should go this way and, and you don't, you can't, you, you are stuck. And um, so as much as I am, you know, not sorry that you lost your leg, but sorry that you lost your leg because, but it <laughs> gave me an opportunity to meet you because I probably would have never met you, yeah. you know? And, and so that, that makes these moments even greater. And it's just, um, I don't even, you know, I look at you and I just, I see you as a whole person. There is nothing that's missing, nothing. So it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to watch you, watch you walk through. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen from here. I don't, I don't ever want to not be a part of this. And I think that anybody that watches this needs to read your book because you cannot grasp what we're talking about until you walk through this with you in that personal journey on those pages. So I encourage everyone that sees this to get one, two, three, four, and pass them out because they're that good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you really so much, Stephanie. That. You're welcome. You know, Thanks for you, having me. We really, we really felt your, your testimony. You, you just really nailed it on the head. Um, one of my favorite quotes of all time is life is too short to make all the mistakes yourself. Mm. So if somebody, <laughs> who's as, as blessed as Kevin, who has the ability to learn, like he said, learn when he didn't win so that he can help other people win instead. Oh my goodness, take advantage of that. Get his book, uh, be a part of his life. The people who have been on before, their lifelong friends, lifelong connections of his, you're brand new. You're mm -hmm. proof. You show other people that it's, it's possible. So thank you for taking your time and and popping on with us. Thank I just you wanted for to having say, me. This is your this is your signed copy right here, Stephanie. Uh, <laughs> I have it right here. I wrote you a little little something something inside the book. There's my signature. I wanted That's to thank great. You. I wanted to thank you so much for being a part of this and being a part of my life, and really just helping me spread my message and my mission to really impact a million people. So thank you so much. It's my honor, Kevin. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. God you bless. too. Hmm. Oh my goodness, Kevin, you are surrounded by so much love and you generate it. I believe that we're all blessed, but not everybody has that ability to receive their blessings. And I think one of the things that I see is, um, you know, Stephanie co consciously knew that, but it, it took her connection with you to really receive that blessing and to make those changes in her life yes absolutely really excited guys she's a wonderful person i feel like she was put in my life for a reason and i'm just glad i was able to impact her inspire her to help her in her life i mean that's really what my life is about i love helping people i love pouring into them and i love seeing that glimmer in their eye that you just seen in stephanie's eye after after we cross paths that's just a beautiful beautiful thing yeah
Yeah. So we're on with Kevin Parker. He's got a mission to touch a million people. If you want to be one of those million people who can turn around and say, my life is better because I met Kevin Parker, go ahead and text winning to 855-476-4845. It's on the screen. It's going to be in the text down below. So it's real easy to get connected. Uh, Kevin will share his, his book with you. He's got a coaching program. He's got a multitude of the fact, if you, you want to feel what, what it's like to be connected, we have somebody else. Uh, looks like we're going to bring Patrick on now. Um, so, Patrick, if you get a chance, go ahead and, and um, get your microphone unmuted, get your camera. Oh, there he is. Hi, Patrick. Uh, unmute, you, unmute yourself, Pat. You got me? Yes, sir. What's up, man? How are you? Nothing much. Good to see you, brother. We're just having a rocking and rolling in this book signing tour. It's been awesome. fantastic. I had my mother and two other guests here. Uh, we're really steaming along and, uh, you know, really sharing the impact that this book had, my message, and really how we can help other people. I mean, and I'm really just thankful that you're here as a guest. Uh, I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited for everybody to meet you. I think you're an incredible man. You do, you're, you're motivated. Uh, you have an incredible story yourself. And I'm just so proud of you and so amazed of where you are right now. So I, I'm so honored that you're part of this book signing group. And I just want to thank you and welcome you to my tour. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. We, we came from uh, a rough spot once upon a time in our life. And, um, you know, we, we made it out. We made it out just like so many other people who were uh, always struggling. And I always thought in the beginning, I'm never going to get out of this. This is the spot. <laughs> be in for the rest of my life I don't know how to live any other way I don't know any other way to live and then when you get to the other side and see that there is another way to live it just makes you want to help people and that's what you've been doing you know you've been motivating so many people I see so many people reaching out to you all the time you know Kev you're doing a great job your book everywhere you came from is just amazing it's amazing bro it really is it's a really uh it's an amazing story Thank you so much, Pat. Can you turn your camera a little bit away from the, 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 the um, light that's behind? Yeah, like that. That's perfect. I want to see your handsome face. <laughs> the light in behind you is blocking, yeah, uh, blocking your view. All right, good. Yeah, it's just the light that's behind your head. Awesome. Yeah, man. I'm so I'm I'm so grateful that you made it out. Uh, I really wanted them. I wanted you to come on here because I know uh, how how addiction has um, affected your life and and where you've been. And I'm really just inspired by you. And uh, that's why I put out the book for people like you that, that struggled or that had any issues that overcame and seen the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, like there's nothing like somebody that's a slave to addiction that breaks free and sees real life, like how powerful that is. It's just amazing. I mean, the, the light in your face compared to when, uh, when we were struggling together is yeah. night and day, man. I mean, uh, it's just, it's, it's a battle. It's, it's a war. And not many people make it out alive, but you made it out of alive. And yeah. you're the reason why I wrote this book to yeah. show people that they can overcome absolutely anything in their lives and how yeah. amazing it is on the other side and give them right. hope and give them strength and show them what life is when you're free of these things. And right. uh, yeah, that's, I'm just really, really excited. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for everybody to read the book. That's and, awesome. And, and I'm, like I said uh, earlier today, uh, I'm trying to impact a million people and I'm, yeah. I'm on my way there. And uh, I'm More than, really... you get, You're getting there, man. You really are. And one thing that really uh, kind of stood out to me that I wanted to share was, um, you know, when I was going through what I was going through, you were going through what you were going through. I was, um, you know, I was away. It's that, you know, I went to prison. My, my, um, my now soon to be, fiance was pregnant with my my daughter who's kohana you know she's 10 now but um i went away i was in a really bad spot went to withdraws in prison had to deal with all that and at that time when i was on the phone with my mother i got the phone call talked to them and everything had happened with you she told me you know listen um Kevin basically almost died. He's in the hospital. He's on life support. He's, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if he's going to make it. We don't know. We don't know anything. The doctors are basically saying there's slim to none chance he's going to come out of it. A lot of people don't come out of it. And I was sitting there on the phone, 
you know, in prison, going through what I was going through with a, a, a pregnant girlfriend, uh, not knowing anything about being a father, not knowing when I'm getting out, not knowing if you're going to make it, if you're going to survive. And it just in my head, I was like, this is the lowest of the low. I, I, I don't even know where else I could be in life that gets any lower than this. Then fast forward two years later, I make it out come out of prison, have my daughter working on getting her back. And then we finally linked up again when I came to Staten Island. And, you know, you you were still early on in, in getting to obviously where you are now, but we linked up and, and the vibes and the love that I felt of both of us finally making it on our way out of the other side. It was just an amazing, it was amazing. It really was an amazing thing, man. We saw each other. We loved each other. We hugged each other. We said, listen, we're, we're making it. We're doing it right now. This is, this is happening. We made it through to the other side. And that in itself was motivation to say, man, look, look at where you, you shouldn't even been able to walk. You shouldn't been able to breathe. You shouldn't been able to get up. You shouldn't have been able to do anything. And I should have been stuck where I was over there. And we both made it out. And, and that in itself was motivation to say, man, Kev is really doing it. He's really doing it. He really made it through. He's really uh, coming out to the other side. And, and that's a, that's an amazing story in itself, man. It really is. And that's something that I always uh, kind of reflect on and say, you know, if he could come out of that bed and be able to walk again and do the things that he's doing and not only do that, but now help all these other people that are trying to do the same thing, everybody else could do it, man. And that that's the biggest thing I took out of everything that happened. That moment for us was, it was an amazing moment. It really was. And, and uh, I reflect on that a lot. So I, I definitely wanted to share that with everybody. Mm. Excellent. Thank you so much, Pat. I really, really do appreciate those words. And, uh, yeah. You inspired me as well, man. I'm just, uh, I'm enthralled by, by how much progress you've made and, and the incredible life that you're creating for your beautiful daughter and you're an amazing son and your soon to be wife, by the way, congratulations. And it's just like, <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just a, it's a fantastic thing. These are the moments that you live for. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate that, man, especially coming from you, because every time we talk, I mean, we, we do stay in touch as much as we can. But every time we talk, you're on another level of progression and you're always working towards, hey, I got this going on. I'm going to help this person. I'm writing this book. I mean, who would have thought, <laughs> you know, what I mean? <laughs> and you were writing a book and, and flying out places to go help people who were in, uh, you know, who were in tough spots, who were thinking exactly how we were thinking you know, 10 years ago or whenever it was. And you're mm. flying out there to let them know, listen, here I am. I'm, this is real. It's a miracle here in yeah. front of you. I did it and you could do it. And yeah. just your energy and your vibes and the way that you, you present yourself to people, you're, you're very easily relatable. And that's, that's a thing that I, I like so much when I see you, you know, I see all your posts, I see everything you do. It's no, you know, BS with you. It's like, this is real. I'm not, I'm not trying to, uh, put up a facade and, and tell you things you want to hear just to, to make money or do whatever. This is real. I'm really here to help you. I want to help you. I know how to help you. I have the tools to help you. Let me help you. Cause I was there, you know? And that's one thing that I, I really love about you. And, and even in the book, in the beginning, I really liked how you address the underlying issues that built up to where your addiction came from. And that was huge for me because a lot of people early on in addiction, they don't realize that they had underlying issues in the beginning. They just think, Oh, you know, I became an addict and I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but you would rest a lot of that stuff early on. And it was great because you could say, Oh, listen, he had insecurity issues. He had issues with, uh, you know, feeling like he doesn't fit in and all that stuff builds up to people who get so tied up in the addiction. And then you address them later on after everything happened and you said, I got to tackle these and you did. And now you're doing the same thing for other people and helping them tackle those issues that they dealt with five, 10, 15 years ago that they didn't even know they had, you know? Yeah. So that's, that, that's great, man. I really love everything you're doing and I'm, I'm very happy and excited for you. Every time we talk, it's always, it's always good things, man. The high energy. And I, I love it. I really do. Yeah. I love what you said. I mean, nobody wakes up and says one morning and says, I think I'm going to be an addict today. You know, it's not, that's never the conversation in your head. It's yeah. like, oh man, I don't feel loved. Oh man, I don't feel comfortable in my own skin. I need to, it's always a, 
a really bad solution to a, 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 pro, a root problem that you had that in, in reality just creates a bigger problem. And it's right. this feedback loop that people get stuck in and they just get worse and worse and worse because they never address the underlying issue. And that's right. what I do. I help yeah. people break it down, figure out the reasons why they were doing drugs or they're on, even if they don't do drugs, why they weren't happy in the beginning. Right. Because truly happy people don't do drugs. Right. Truly happy people make this world a better place. And that's my mission, to help people create a life that they love to live. Whether they do drugs or not, there are underlying factors in your life that are holding you back and debilitating you from creating the purpose and the life and the impact that you were designed to make. Right. And that's what I love is I love unlocking that true warrior within that yeah. shows them what their true purpose was in life, how they were supposed to live, what they were supposed to do. I, I love feel like I feel like that's my mission. And uh, I'm really, really excited to do this to as many people as I possibly can. Man. Thank you. Yeah. And like I said before, you're getting it. And the whole even even the title in itself, the true warrior within and, and you know, the warriors of recovery, it gives people the sense of being a warrior, you know, so to speak, that they're they're going to come out there and they're battling this thing because addiction, people think, you know, and, and this is a huge thing with people who constantly relapse all the time. And I've done it. I've done it. You've done it. We've all been there. They get to a certain point and they think, oh, I beat it. <laughs> I'm here. I did it. <laughs> we made it, you know, and it, it's not like that because that's when the addiction really snaps at you and, and says, Hey, you, you think you made it? Oh, I'm fine. You know, I could go out. I could have a couple of drinks. I could do something one time. And that's when the addiction really takes over. And then before you know it, you end up, it's a month later and you're like, wow, I'm right back in the same spot. I don't know what happened. That's why that true warrior within is constantly fighting that battle. And it's constantly, you know, getting back at the addiction and saying, you're not going to take over. And that's another huge thing that just the title in itself that you came up with and promoted that whole warrior within it's a constant fight and a constant battle. And I, I don't want people to get confused and think that every day is a miserable day because you're fighting the battle. It's not, it's a beautiful thing, but you do have to have then that mentality, that warrior mentality to say, listen, I'm going to battle this every day and I'm going to overcome this every day. And every day is going to be a great day that I overcome it. You know, you know, winning against all odds, man, you know, that's just, that's, that's the underlying factor. There is a true warrior within all of us and we unlock it. And our lives become better than we could have ever, ever fathomed. Right. You know, Agreed. Like, Agreed, man. I'm really yeah. happy with everything that's going on, honestly. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you so much. And, and, and in the audience, if you're watching this and you want that best life, this is a route. It, but we're not just talking about the people who are going through it. Um, if you have a friend, uh, a family member, a mom, a dad, a son, a daughter, who is showing and exhibiting these signs that Kevin talks about in the beginning of his book, it's time to take action. Um, Kevin went through a process. Patrick went through a process. You don't want to go through something you don't have to go through. They're, they're telling their story in a way to embrace uh, a million people. And oh my goodness, if you when, when you do reach that, when, when you reach that million person, how much better of a world is this place going to be? I, I pray every single day, man. I pray for everyone. I don't just pray for myself. I pray for all the people struggling, all the people suffering, all the people that have family and friends that are suffering. I just want to spread the love and the strength through everybody. Everybody needs it on some level or the next. Yeah. And we all have to do our part. So I'm going to be just, my life, my life is already blessed. If I die today, I'd be super excited, but I know uh, there's other intentions i have other missions and i have other purposes in this world to share and to grow in and i'm just really blessed i can't wait to hit that millionth person and then when i hit that millionth person i'm going to go for 10 million because once i hit the million it's just it's just the sky's the limit uh and i'm leveraging so many different platforms i'm collaborating with people like you adam with your feed program uh with my my business partner connor uh we just created we're going to be creating uh products courses life coaching courses um, faith-based courses, uh, recovery coaching courses, all kinds of different courses that we can do. And he has a huge impact that he wants to reach 50 million people. Uh, and he has the platform to do it. 
Uh, I, I work with the Addictions Academy with Dr. Callie Estes. Uh, she has over, she's trained over 25,000 people how to be a recovery coach, life coach, mentor, anything, sober companion. And I'm one of her top uh, coaches and trainers. I teach life coaching and recovery coaching with that. So I'm just trying to multiply what I do through other people and lead by example. Amazing. Outstanding. Patrick, so much. Thank you so much. Kevin's got your book for you right there. This is your book right here, Patty boy. Uh, Love it. I signed it. I signed it. It's all up in there. That's awesome, man. I told you from day one when I heard, I'm like, I need a signed copy of that thing. I need a signed copy of it. I love it. So proud of you. I love you so much, man. We so made it, my brother. I love you, kid. I cannot wait to see you and beat you in golf. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and I'll give you free. You gave me the signed book in exchange for some free lessons. So I can certainly use some free <laughs> lessons, man. <laughs> Thank uh, you, brother. I love you, man. Have a great day. I appreciate I you being a part you. of it. I'll be in touch. Sounds good. All right. Oh, my goodness. You are on with uh, Kevin Parker, winning against all odds. He's on his way to reaching a million people, affecting their lives, and, and not just giving hope, but restoring a wonderful, fabulous, happy life. Um, uh, you can also see Kevin featured in our, our showcase. Um, we have so many different life changers in there. Um, Kevin, you, you said when you wanted to go from a million to 10 million, I got to tell you this, once you reach a million people, they're, they're going to be so affected. They're going to tell at least 10 people, 1 million equals 10 million for yeah. you. Um, I'll tell you, last week we had uh, Anna on, Anna Clay, and she went through a different experience. She went through a life-changing moment where she was in uh, France and she moved over to, to Canada and, 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 and a, a single woman with a whole incredible life story, um, totally different from yours, except started good, went really bad, hard, harsh, hard, you know, very difficult to break free and amazing. Now she teaches everyone how to do that. As a matter of fact, um, we're going to have Anna on. Uh, she'll be on the 26th, so that's text Anna, A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, to 855-476-4845, and um, if you include her in one of your million people, you're going to be, you're going to reach another 100,000 people just from that alone. Excellent. I definitely have to connect with that. That's Absolutely. Amazing. So we have next, we have um, Leslie is waiting for us. You ready? Ooh. Leslie. Let's see. Hello. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Unmute yourself. There. Sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, thank you for joining us, Leslie. I'm so excited to be here. I'm just going to introduce you a little bit. Sure. Uh, Les Leslie is one of my absolute favorite students that I've ever taught how to be a recovery coach. She has an amazing story. She's a fantastic person. She influences so many people each and every single day. And I'm truly blessed to be able to call her a friend. She has an incredible podcast you have to check out. Uh, and she's just fantastic. And I'm really, really grateful that I was introduced to her. And we really connected on, uh, on a deeper level. Uh, she's read my book. Uh, I, was, I really wanted to send her a copy because a signed copy because she's one of my dearest people. And I'm just really grateful that you're on the show with me. So thank you for sh uh, showing up. Well, thank you so much. That was a wonderful introduction. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I am definitely glad. I definitely got the right teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, tell me a little bit about uh, how or either I've uh, in in impacted you or how the book impacted you. And, uh, and let's start it off like that. Yeah, you know, um, when I first started um, this journey, you know, to taking uh, what I had gone through and changing it into, you know, something to work with others and help others, um, I had no idea what I was doing. And so <laughs> when I found out that recovery coaching was actually, you know, um, a profession and something that, that I could do, um, Again, I, I had no idea what that what that meant. And just not even just the classes, but being able to kind of watch you and um, you know, 
learn from you in, in a, on a different level. You know, the classes, of course, were excellent and you have so much knowledge and so much background and, you know, just so much wisdom to pass on to people, really. Um, but really just watching you as a person and knowing your story and seeing who you are now, it's honestly, it's so hard to connect those two guys, you know, because <laughs> you've just come so far. It's amazing, you know, and I think that's really influential. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for those kind words. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm blessed to have you in my life and to have people like you surrounding me. <laughs> well, thank you. And, you know, um, I read your book and, you know, I just said it's, it's hard to connect those two guys. But when you read the book, it makes it a little easier because it's it's an evolution. You know, mm. and it's like I said before, you start with little Kevin and <laughs> all of this background, because, you know, we know that what influences you and the trauma or the joy or whatever that you go through as a child, you know, you carry it with you. And I think in the book, you illustrate it so well. I mean, you just capture that person because you know they are for little kevin and then they're <laughs> for teenage kevin you know and then they're for adult kevin and so you really take us on that journey mm -hmm. you know and you're you also show people that the journey doesn't have to end at the bad part you know at the rough part it keep you can keep going you know you can keep going and I think that's, that's powerful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> really, uh, I appreciate you going through that so people understand what they're getting into when they read the book. Uh, and it is an absolute evolution uh, from the moment, little scared, little sweet Kevin to the insecure, unwanted, unloved, feeling like he didn't belong, little Kevin to dealing with my problems in a way as a young kid thought was the best possible way and going through the trial and errors and making the mistakes and breaking the relationships and uh, doing the things that kind of destroyed my life right. until, until it was rock bottom. And then being able to rise like a Phoenix after the deepest, darkest hour of my life and being able to transform, but show people that you can make a difference. You can change from whatever you ever went through in your life. There's always a way to make up for it. There's always a way to learn from it. There's always a way to grow from it and make it your superpower because experience is king. Exactly. You know, I don't want to take, I don't want a doctor that's read, read the, the, the textbooks for 40 years. I'd rather right. have a doctor that operated on people for 20 and you know, failure is okay. Devastation is okay. Doing the wrong thing is okay. If you grow from it, if you learn, if you become better from it. And that's what, listen, I, I'm not here to say I'm this high and mighty person and, and, I, and I'm such a great person. I was a miserable person at some points. I was the biggest failure you could ever imagine. But I own it. It made me a better person. I always say fail fast, fail often, but keep failing forward. Right. And that's right, what I want to show people. Yeah. You don't have to stay there. Yeah. You know, you don't have to stay there. That's the thing. You know, you can move forward. Yeah, really. Absolutely. Amazing. And, you know, I think another really important lesson is you, you made me think of it when you said, you know, little scared Kevin and really little scared Kevin is through that entire book. He tries to mask it with toughness. He tries to mask it with anger and he tries to mask it with all this stuff. But really, you know, he's still little scared, insecure Kevin mm -hmm. until, you know, you deal with things. Until yeah. we deal with things, we're always going to be that person, no matter how we mask it or try and, you know, um, cope with it in the wrong way. Mm, beautiful. I love that. Really. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Well, I have a sign. You know, I think one of the things that you guys are really... I think one of the guys, things you're all pointing out is it's not about being perfect. 
Okay. You have to have that glimmer of hope. You have to know that there's something better. If you're not living a life that you want there, you know, you might not have that person like, um, like Patrick's fiance, like Kevin's mom. Um, you may need uh, that person to arrive in your life. And when they arrive, you need to be prepared to receive them. And uh, Kevin may be the catalyst to help you get there. Right, right. And if you're, per no, who wants to be perfect? Perfect, there's nowhere to go. If you're perfect, you know, there, there is nowhere to go. The end. That's it, you know? <laughs> so fail, mess up, you know, but do it big you know, so that you can learn from it and you can move on. And, you know, so that's what my dad said. If you're going to fail, fail big, <laughs> you know, because that means that you put yourself all in. Yeah. Yeah. They say uh, the people at the end of their life, they don't regret the things that they did. They regret the things that they didn't do. Mm. Right. Right. You know, I just, um, I had made a post um, a couple days ago and it was just a picture of the family room in the couch with books all over the floor and for some reason there was a cereal bowl on the couch and and everything else and you know i said i'd love to be one of those moms because you know that's my greatest role i have an eight-year-old and seven-year-old triplets and i'd love to be one of those moms who has the picture perfect house and you know the kids are all bathed and beautiful and big bows in their hair and everything you know and um i'm not but I've played with my kids all day and, you know, I drew with my old, um, you know, my oldest and I got to um, play my, one of my kids is into Among Us and I got to play with him. And so it's like priorities in your, you know, the priorities in your life have to be your priorities, not somebody else's priorities, not social media's priorities. You know, you have to live for you. I mean, obviously you may have responsibilities to others, you know, so, but you've got to live the kind of life that makes you full of joy. Yeah. I love what you said about that, not being perfect. And you posted something about your messy house. Mm -hmm. uh, that's exactly what I did with this book. <laughs> I, I posted on international books about my messy house, my messy life, all the insecurities, all the vulnerabilities all of the things that I was ashamed and guilty of every skeleton in my closet, I could think of that uh, hindered me in some kind of way because nobody's perfect because there are other people out there with those same issues, that same right. embarrassments, those same shame and guilt and problems. And I wanted to bring it into the light because problems fester in the darkness. So I wanted mm -hmm. to shed the light on the imperfections of being a human, the vulnerabilities yeah. of being a human knowing that anything is possible. Everybody has issues. And you know what? Some people look at my social media and I think that I, I have this glamorous life and that like things are always great. They're not. I mean, things were horrible at some time. Right. A, a terrible, terribly dark life at some points. And I wanted right. to shed the light on showing people it's okay not to be perfect. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to need help. And I hope by sharing this and hope by sh you sharing your post that we've inspired people to show them that it's okay. Right, because even when we, you know, in quotes, have it together, <laughs> guess what? Life is still messy. It's always gonna, it's just a different kind of messy. It could be a more enjoyable messy, you know? It can be a happy chaos. I, I asked, I would ask my um, you know, going back to a journey, I would ask my husband because he was with me in active addiction and he was, he went through so much and I would say, why did you, st I mean, he married me in active addiction. And it's like, are you insane? You know, cause I would have left. Why did you stay? And what he always says is because I could see the person you were going to become. I could see the person that you were going to become. And this person that I've become like I said, it's, you know, there is, there is no perfect. I will never be perfect. You know, it's a journey. And I think that's really what your book says, you know, and, and you're the, you know, your life right now, you're the sequel, you know, because your book says, this is the journey. This is the beginning journey. You know, this is how far I've come, but you're still journeying. You're not finished. Yes. You know, your journey didn't end at the end of the book. 
Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, and that's that's awesome. Amen. You are, you are just lighting up the audience with all of your guests today. Leslie, you're wonderful and amazing. Thank you for sharing the story. And I have your book right here, Leslie. I signed it. I'm going to I'm going oh, awesome. to, I'm going to send it over to you as soon as possible. I really do appreciate you sharing your perspective and your story and uh, just being a part of this this movement. I mean, we're here to we're here to inspire and motivate and change the lives of a million people. And uh, you're a part of that. Uh, I plug into you anytime that I can. I love to collaborate with you anytime that I can. I was on her amazing podcast. What's the name of your podcast? So I could share the recovery whatever. scene. It's on YouTube and pretty much anywhere you can find podcasts. <laughs> Wonderful. The, re the recovery scene. She's fantastic. She does amazing interviews. I'm on there twice, actually. Uh, <laughs> one, <laughs> one, one in the beginning and then one with my business partner with what we're yes. doing. With our you were my very first interview. Yeah. And one with my recovery program uh, product that I'm putting out for uh, that's a low price that everybody can afford because unfortunately I can't coach everybody one-on-one. -on -one. So I wanted to share my knowledge and my mission with people all over the place. So that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to multiply what I do in other people, in products and all those different things. And I'm just really proud of you, Leslie. I love your podcast. I thank you for so much for being on the show. Uh, God bless you. And uh, thank you again. You're welcome. Bye, Leslie. Bye. Take care. All right. All right. We are, um, we're winding down. The story is amazing. The people are amazing. I just, it, it impacts me so much to be able to tell people that are watching that this Kevin might be talking about you, um, but he might be talking about somebody you love as well. That moment when you pick up the phone, that moment when you text winning, that moment when you send Kevin a message, these could be the pivot of your story. You might not have to hit rock bottom on your own, or you might already be at rock bottom. You know, um, you don't have to make all the mistakes. Kevin's here to help. And don't be shy. Reach out. Uh, be appreciative of everybody who is on the call today. And um, Kevin, I want to bring in one more person, if that's good with you. She's the she's the one that connected us. She's the one that made this happen. And that's that's Natalie. And let's see. There she is. Hey, Hi, Natalie. Natalie. Let me unmute myself. Yes. So I have to say, I'm, I've been watching and I'm crying and then <laughs> <laughs> laughing. And oh, it's been amazing. Oh, fantastic. I really <laughs> do appreciate everything. Uh, I'm really excited that we were able to even do this. Uh, and I thank you so much for making the connection with Adam. He's a fantastic guy. And uh, I'm really, really excited that we did this. Looking forward to doing it again. Absolutely. You know, when I had that text from you and, <clears throat> um, and you know, you said, hey, is this available? Uh, is that available? It's funny because I had just spoken with Anna, who we mentioned earlier, and she said, my publisher is going to be connecting with you. And then, bam, here's Natalie. <laughs> Another publisher I know, and I, I didn't realize, like, oh my goodness, Anna, Anna is connected to Natalie, and then you weren't, but we went through the process, and I got to review what was going on with Kevin, and it matches the, the feeling in my, in, in my life, matches my mission, yeah. and it, it's so cool to bring him into to my audience. Uh, Natalie, what is it about Kevin that you think people need to know about the most? He is such a genuine person. I've, I've enjoyed every step of the way um, working with Kevin. And what I have to say is I love, you know, we, we work with a lot of authors and you ask authors, you know, here's the next step. And sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't, or they struggle or they're scared. Kevin just jumps in and does it, whether he, you know, is confident in, you know, some of the technology or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling my secrets. I'm <laughs> no, it's been amazing. <laughs> terrible with tech. Just, um, it's been wonderful. But when I first got the manuscript and I was reading through it, I agree with Leslie. I met the Kevin, the speaker, the coach, the, you know, this guy. I didn't know his background. I didn't know his story. 
So when I was reading through the manuscript, it was like, I can't believe that this guy went through all of that. And when I got to his mother's um, chapter, it was being a mom. You can't <laughs> imagine, I'm trying not to tear up, but you can't imagine what um, a strong family and how they came together and were with Kevin every step of the way and not letting go and um, keeping that faith. And um, I love, uh, that's why I said to Kevin, I can't wait to meet your mom because mm -hmm. the way he talks about her and their relationship. And um, when I was working on his YouTube, um, I got to see her in a video and I'm like, oh my gosh, your mom's amazing. <laughs> and now I know why you're so amazing. Oh, so, but another thing, um, I got to meet Kevin in person. I'm in Arizona and Kevin's in uh, the New York area. And he came, he has family in Arizona, correct? Yes. Your brother? Yes. Yeah. So he came to visit uh, the height of COVID and he, we said, we have to meet, we have to meet in person. And um, so he came and we went hiking and here's Kevin with, you know, a prosthetic leg. And I'm thinking, can he do this? And he was, he was amazing. And he was sharing all the other adventures that he'd been on. And this was a very easy hike, but we went up and he goes, the good thing is I have an extra leg in the car. <laughs> and I, I thought that was so amazing, but it, it's been a wonderful journey. And what we haven't talked about is Kevin has an audiobook, And I have to say, I was the number one person to grab that audio book. The book takes you through this story and um, it, it's just a phenomenal listen. So yeah. make sure, get the book, get this, ask Kevin for a signed book, but make sure you get hold of that audio book and just mm. sit back and, and live through that journey. So um, I see that you had his results up. Um, can you get back to that screen? Of course, abracadabra, alakazam. Uh, go ahead, Mitch, put up those results slide. Sure. So I'm, gl I'm glad you mentioned the audio book because uh, it was just a fantastic way to hear the story from somebody else's voice. And yes. like, it's like, when, it's like when you mirror it back from somebody, you hear your words out of their mouth. You're like, wow. And it was just a fantastic experience for me. And yeah. he just did an amazing job. They did such an amazing job. So um, Orly kind of briefed over this, but when, when you're an author and you're building your launch team and you're reaching out and you can see by Kevin's interview here, the amazing people he's connected to and so many people, you know, shared and supported him. Um, but this is phenomenal results. Like 64 total achievements in a book is phenomenal. And he's hit in US, Australia and Canada and a total of 35 number one bestsellers in those countries. So, I mean, that is something that not most authors, if they hit number one bestseller, they're happy, but 35. So Kevin <laughs> is truly a rock star. <laughs> Thank you so much for those kind words. You are the best. It's been an absolute pleasure working with you, meeting you, becoming one of your friends and just getting to know you. I'm so thankful for all the work that team put together, uh, all the, guidance and navigation through these uncharted territories I didn't even know about. And you are just the absolute best in the business. I mean, you just, the, you and the whole team really, really helped me every step of the way. And I couldn't have did it without you. And I'm really, really blessed to have you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. It's been amazing. So what a uh, incredible love fest. Really have appreciated being on with you, Kevin, introducing you to so many people. Um, uh, can I give you my two cents worth? Absolutely. So what's really important to remember is if you have a mission to reach a hundred, um, a million people and you do that successfully, um, you're going to make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I heard at the beginning, you said the money doesn't matter. I, I'd like to encourage you to make the money matter, whether it's for your own personal things, whether it's for charities, whether it's for helping other people. 
make the money matter. Um, that's just my personal yeah. opinion. You can take that or not. Um, in order for you to successfully move a million people forward in your life, you will become a celebrity. Okay. And, and, and that's something you can easily embrace. That's something you can handle. That's something everybody who's, who, who came on the screen tonight is actually telling other people that Kevin can step up and affect other people's lives. And if you embrace those two things, the celebrity and the money, doesn't mean you have, makes you bad, doesn't mean it makes you anything. You can give all the money away, mm. okay? but, but make it matter because in the million people you will help, I guarantee you at least 750,000 will have a money issue that's as part of the core of what they're going through. So it's just the society we live in today. You have it, you have it within you, you have the gift, you have it. And I'm just honored to be a part of what's going on and uh, excited to introduce you into my Feed the Children program. Excellent. Thank you so much for that feedback. I really do appreciate it. And you are absolutely right. Uh, many Money is a, is a resource and an energy that can help even more people. It is important. It is have to have to be money driven. Um, it's not my first driven, but I should definitely uh, keep that advice close to my heart because you are right. Thank you. Thank you. So I want to thank um, Kelly, Leslie, Patrick, Stephanie for being a part of what we're doing and sharing your message on your path to a million. I want to thank Orly and, and of course, Natalie, who's here with us right at the moment for making it possible. Whoever read your book on your audio book, I want to thank them. Uh, but above all, on top of that uh, cake, I want to thank uh, your mom mm -hmm. for not only what she did today, not only did what she did to help you get through that, but she, what she did your whole life to help make you the person that you are. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. This has been an absolute pleasure. So for on behalf of Kevin and his whole entire team, and the team uh, behind me at Adam Connects. I'm Adam Bricker. Thanks for being on the virtual book tour. And we look forward to seeing you guys again. Bye-bye now. Thank you, Adam. Take care.